nostalgia. That's one of the rant time topics that I've been given for actually uh, six, seven months now, all right? And I've wanted to stray away from this topic because I don't really know thoughts on it, but you know what? You know, I, I guess I might as well just tell you what I think of nostalgia in video games. I think it's fucking bullshit, all right? See, what nostalgia really is, is it's the rose-tinted glasses that we wear when we play video games. Or that we say that older games from back in our childhood were better. Now, I have a simple reason behind this. Now, I've played a lot of the games, and I've actually held off on this because I was playing a lot of my games that I played as a kid to see if they still hold up. And let me tell you the blatant truth, about like 60% of them don't really hold up in my eyes. Now, one of the things that this topic really wants to debate, I guess, is go to is that newer games are shittier compared to old ones. Well, let me tell you something. Back in the day, we had those rose-tinted glasses. So, as, as we were kids, you know, this is the OG gamers, if you will, we didn't really have standards. Like, we had no standards. Unless it was the fucking Virtual Boy, yeah, we had a standard there. Uh, if it was like Action 52, I shit you not, like fucking, like half of us as kids would have been like, Wow, there's a great 52 games in one cartridge, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun, yeah! Even though, like, all 52 of those games were complete shit. But we didn't have any standards. You know why gaming nowadays feels like crap? Well, a lot of us that say that, we've gotten much more older, and with that, we've gotten standards. So when we play a game nowadays, we really judge it. Like, we really do. Like, we really look at it fucking analytically. We're like, this game is shit. And we say it's shit for the proper reasons. Gaming back in the day, I'll tell you right now, there were plenty of games I played, alright? I played the Final Fantasy series, I've played the fucking, you know, Metroid series, I've played the fucking, I played Tomb, I played a fuck ton of games on the PlayStation 1, and whenever I went to a friend's place, I played on the N64, so I got some of that experience, and, you know, the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, I had all that. I played all the nice RPGs, and all those games back in the day. I even played the Sonic series, so I'm not a huge fan of it, I still played it, because, you know, it's on the... You know, it's a fucking Genesis game, alright? It's a good, it's, they're good games when you're a kid. I don't really, you know, have much of a passion for them anymore, but, you know, I played a lot of shit back in, back in the day. And you know what? 90% of the, when I was playing back then, I literally enjoyed every game I was playing. Oh, there was something really weird, like, I remember one time I had this robot baseball game that I played, and I was like, and back in the day, I didn't know how to play fucking video game baseball, so I was like, mm, what the fuck's that square doing in the middle? What am I supposed to do? So... You know, unless it was something like that, I wasn't enjoying it, but 90% of the time, any game I was playing was the most enjoying fucking game ever, alright? Shit, I could play Action 52 back in the day and be like, wow, this game is amazing! And Cheetah Man? Man, that just gets my dick hard right there. Yeah, that's what I would have been. Nowadays, I'm a much older individual. And let me tell you right now, these days, we get plenty of fucking turkeys in gaming, alright? Let me tell you that right now. There's a lot of bullshit that happens in video games, alright? And I went into this in detail, fucking microtransaction, day one patches, missing content, bullshit online, and all that other crap. But you know what? It's sort of something that comes with the territory at this point. And, I mean, if you're talking about gaming in that perspective, yeah, gaming back then was a whole lot better. I mean, back in the day, when you put a game out on the shelf, it, it had to work. You, you could, there was no fucking day one patch for this shit. There was no, oh, you know, wait a, wait a couple months for the game to be fixed. No, 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 motherfucker. It had to work. You had to be able to play that game from start to finish. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, every game was like that, but it really wasn't. I remember back in the day, I'm, I don't remember names exactly, but I remember experiences back in the day when I would play a game on my PlayStation 1, and uh, it would not fucking, there were parts where the game would glitch up or, you know, it just wouldn't work anymore. So there were turkeys back then that wouldn't fucking work. They, they, they had problems. But the only reason that no one really heard of them was because we didn't have like YouTube back in the internet. Back in the day, we had like fucking AOL. If you were typing your game problems on AOL, you were not using the internet right. Okay, you had to use it for proper reasons, like checking your emails and looking up lemonade recipes and shit. Nowadays, we've got YouTube. And anyone, that, like, if you have an issue on a PS4 game, somebody could hit that share button and just send it to the world. Like, your, your flaws are much more transparent. You know, even back in the day when you had a Bethesda game, like Daggerfall, it, it was filled to the brim with bugs like they are nowadays. Except nowadays, when Oblivion, Skyrim, and all those games came out, the Fallout series from Bethesda, they were much more prominent. 
because everyone is uploading videos of them. I mean, shit, if, if I upload a, like a fucking gameplay video of any Bethesda game, you're probably gonna run into a couple glitches in the video. It's just how it works. The same thing with any other game, EA games, Activision, a lot of other games. They have bugs, all right? And they have much more game-breaking bugs, and the day one patches are also bullshit, where they're like five to six gigs at this point, as big as some games themselves, but you know, I'm not, I'm not like complaining here or anything. But when you look at nostalgia through game quality, there's really not a whole lot of difference, right? Games today are still very great. I mean, let me let me put this into perspective. If Deus Ex: Human Revolution came out back in the day, and it was a it was, it was a sequel to the original Deus Ex, or hell, if it came out in general back in the day, it would blow our fucking minds. If uh, if a game like as much as people want to hate it, you know, Call of Duty. If it wanna comes if it comes out back and the people would fucking enjoy it because they're like, look at all this shit. And that's also another topic too on gaming. A lot of people hate it because they feel like, oh, all the games are the same. Back then, you know, games were the same too. I mean, Double Dragon, which uh, was a very prominent game in its genre, spawned off many spin-offs. I mean, a lot of people wanted to emulate it. Same thing with Call of Duty nowadays. This genre has become our personal genre. Like it's like back in the day, I remember the genres for me were like beat-em-ups and RPGs. Now they're all shooters. When Call of Duty comes in and sets a standard, because as much as you want to hate it, this is the whole reason why games are trying to emulate Call of Duty, because it set not only did it set a sales standard, but there was a time when Call of Duty set its quality standard as well, and people emulated it. Now is Call of Duty still the greatest, you know, FPS series ever? No, not in my opinion ever. But it's still, it's what people try to emulate now, and it's what gaming is, and that's because, and the reason why we think it's shit is because we're much more older, we have standards, and we can see through this bullshit. Back then, it also existed too, but we didn't have the internet, and, you know, we were much younger individuals. I mean, if you ask an older gamer at the time, like, my dad, even back in the day, hated, like, fucking half the games he played on the PS1 or SNES. He was like, man, this is the same bullshit and all that stuff. Like, you know, that, I mean, my dad had that opinion. Why? Because, you know, he had a standard, I believe, to something. And when we were kids, we didn't. You ask kids nowadays, they're, I mean, kids who started gaming on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and there are kids who've done that, alright? I mean... It's, it's, it's been a while. These kids, they they think that, uh, you know, half the games we hate are great now. It's just this whole change of age and our expectations. So, I don't think, I don't think nostalgia is good to have, really. I mean, I understand nostalgia in the sense that you want to go play the retro games, and that's all fine and dandy. I do that nowadays all the time. The, the reason I have a fucking, you know, PlayStation Vita, or, like, on my phone in general, when I'm, like, out and about, I play a lot of old-school SNES RPGs. And I enjoy it, not because, you know, I, I have this nostalgia fever, it's because those games are very enjoyable. But at the same time, I'm still playing games nowadays, like, I'm, I have a lot of fun playing Grand Theft Auto V, um, I have a lot of fun playing the uh, Splinter Cell series, hell, I play the Metal Gear series religiously, I have fun with games of today and games of back then. So I don't necessarily agree on gaming sucks nowadays, because it sort of stayed the same. I mean, you know, it, instead of just a gaming crash, really, you know, the way I see it with the amount of money that a lot of these big games are making. I don't really foresee a huge crash. I mean, all I just see is a lot of consolidation between developers, really, but that's a whole other rant time topic aside. Nostalgia isn't really something bad, but at the same time, you know, I understand where people are coming from, where they have an issue with games today, but it's not necessarily our fault. It's nothing. You know, it's not gaming fault. It's nothing. It's the fact that we keep thinking the uh, past is the best, really, because back in the day, everything was great as kids. Nowadays, flaws tend to stick out more, so I don't really think nostalgia should really be a factor in gaming. You know, games are games are still very enjoyable nowadays, but, you know, that's just my opinion on it. And in these kind of videos, I always cherish hearing your opinion on it, too, because there's a lot of people that agree, and there's people that disagree to it. And we should all be respectful of the uh, you know opinions that are going to be represented below in the comments section, so... You know, let's all have fun, let's relax, and that was what I thought of Rant Time. So, if you like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, Mudahar, and uh, I am out.